How old huh? are you? Are you one? Every day we dance and life's been smiling. I'm delighted because I got you. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today it's Haley's one year update video we've all been waiting for. Haley turned a year old this week and it was a very special day. We actually vlogged that day. If you guys want to see that vlog, I'll have it linked in the description box as well as the cards of this video. Um, she had a wonderful day. I, sh I can tell she really enjoyed it. But today she's a little under the weather and she's teething really bad. So she's a bit groggy and grumpy and uncomfortable today. At some point she'll probably go down for nap while I'm filming this video but I wanted her here for a little bit while I shared with you how she's doing now that she's 12 months old a year old it's just crazy and I want to share with you also how I am doing one year postpartum but before we hop into it I would love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel and if you want to get the notifications for my videos so you don't miss any of them don't forget to hit that bell button as well just like with all the other baby updates I'm gonna start with the feeding category and how she is doing with that so her main source of food is solid food and actually she loves having finger foods or baby led weaning style foods more than she enjoys purees although on occasion especially if we go out she will enjoy baby purees. I bring little pouches with us, um, but mostly she eats whatever we are eating off of our plates. She loves eggs. She loves peas, cheese, uh, bread. I make her peanut butter or almond butter sandwiches all the time. Oh, are you feeling happy talking about food? Do you see yourself in the mirror? Mama. Here? Mama. Am I your mama? She loves eating little baby puffs little baby cereal. She'll pretty much eat anything. The only thing that she does not like is avocados, um, which my boys are the same way. So that's the only thing that we've seen her like absolutely reject. And I've talked about that before, but she pretty much eats anything. And there hasn't been any food sensitivities or allergies that we have found out so far. The only thing at this point that we have waited to give her is honey, of course. You should wait until a baby is at least 12 months old, I believe, and in some cases 18 months old before giving them honey. So she hasn't had any honey yet. She just turned one, um, but she'll be getting a little bit of that soon. But yeah, she really enjoys food. And as far as breastfeeding goes, I still nurse her before her naps. Um, either one or two naps a day, depending on the day, and before bed. On occasion, when I wake up in the morning and I have a lot of milk, um, I will nurse her in the morning just for some relief. Um, but sometimes I'll pump that milk off and she will just eat breakfast like she normally does. Um, but she's pretty much only nursing before she goes to sleep. And it's working out fine. There have been a couple of occasions where she has asked to nurse and it's just not a good time for me and so she'll get really upset about it um, but I am trying to keep nursing for strictly for bedtime. So as far as her sleeping goes, it's been going really well this month. She takes one or two naps a day. Usually it's two naps, but on days where we're busy or out of the house or doing something different, it's just the one nap in the morning. Um, and then she is sleeping all the way through the night. On a rare occasion, she will wake up partway through the night, usually around three in the morning. Um, but sometimes I will nurse her to go back down. There have been a couple of times where I've walked in there and offered to nurse her and she just falls asleep immediately in my arms and she goes right back down before even starting to nurse. So she really does enjoy her sleep at night, which is awesome. I'm getting plenty of sleep nowadays and that is really necessary for me with taking care of three kids, three and under during the day. So. Sleep is going really well for all of us. So as far as her growth and development goes, she is not walking. I was wrong. I thought it would be right around when she turns one or right before she did, but she is not walking yet. And she really hasn't done anything different from last month's update as far as walking goes. She still walks around the furniture and will push little toys like walkie toys. She walks along the gate in our kitchen and she has no problem getting up and down or taking little steps when she's guided. Um, but I think she's just not interested in taking steps 
for herself or starting to walk. She's an expert crawler. She scoots around like crazy and she actually walks on her knees a lot of the time and it just cracks us up. We always tell her like, it'd just be easier if you got up on your feet and started walking, you'd get around a lot faster. But she is more than content to have her brothers run her errands for her and run all over the house and bring her things. She's learned a few more words this month. She says grandma, so the way she says grandma is mama. And I think that's how my boy said it too. It's how I said it when I was a baby. She says num nums now when she's hungry and wants food. Uh, she still calls the boys Bubba. And um, she now says Wawa for her water cup that she has. It's the, oh, she says light now. That is actually something she started saying the week of her birthday. She points up to the lights and goes, she says a word for light. Can you say light? Where's the light? <gasps> Where's the light, Haley? Light. She's actually a pretty quiet baby verbally until she gets going. And then she just babble, babble, babbles all day long. She still says mama and dada and night night. And she calls the little blanket that she wears to bed. She calls it night night. And she makes this funny noise that she's starting to do. She goes, gubba, gubba, gubba. She says that all the time, don't you? I don't know what it means. Yeah, are you happy girl? Huh? What? I've seen a lot of comments on how she does look like her brothers and other people will say, oh my gosh, she's the exact opposite of her brothers. When it comes to like facial structure and the way her face looks and just like how she's all put together, she does remind me a lot of Liam actually. They have very similar ears and foreheads and like head shapes, but she definitely is one of a kind in this family when it comes to her coloring. She's very, very blonde. When she was born, she had reddish hair at like a strawberry blonde we thought she could be a redhead and then that hair color changed to like a white blonde it was so bizarre to us and every day I look at her I'm like oh my goodness I have such a blonde baby and as she's been playing out in the sunshine it's kind of turned into this golden yellowy blonde and her skin's darkened up a little bit I do use SPF on her but it's still just takes me aback sometimes when I see her with the boys and see how different she looks. But then at the same time, she looks just like them to me. The boys aren't identical, if you didn't know that already. The boys are not identical. They do look a lot alike, but they are fraternal twins. And I think she looks more like Liam. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, and she's asleep right now. Poor baby's not feeling well. So I may be able to finish filming this video with her just sleeping on my chest here. Um, but yeah, she's my blondie, blue-eyed little baby. She has gorgeous blue eyes. They're almost purple. Haley is an absolute joy, straight from heaven. She is like the sweetest little angel baby. She has the sweetest personality. And I know I'm repeating myself. I have said this so many times before in her baby updates, but I've just been reflecting so much on this last year. What a wonderful year we have had with this little girl. She is just the light of our lives. Every single one of us feel that way. Um, the boys absolutely adore her, both of them have so much affection and care for her. It's just so sweet. Weston loves having a daughter. I see it every single day. I He's such a good dad. He is such an amazing dad to our boys. He is an amazing dad. Um, and just seeing him with a daughter is just like a whole new perspective on who he is as a man and a father. And if you have seen my birth story video where I talked about a moment during the birth right before she was born where I paused and I was breathing, waiting for the next contraction to happen. And I looked up at Weston and I started crying. I saw him crying and I told him that he was so cute. Um, it was just one of those really defining moments in my life. And I feel like that moment I get a little glimpse of every time I see him hold her. Oh my goodness. I was not going to cry. Oh, isn't that the cliche thing to say? He is, 
just an incredible dad and I can tell that he truly loves having a little girl just as much as he loves having little boys and it, having a little girl has brought out a different side of him and it's just so awesome to see. So, so awesome. So little Haley has brought so much love and so much light into our family. We've enjoyed every moment with her this entire year, even the sleepless nights, even the frustration that comes with every baby in this world. It all has been wonderful. And I'm so thankful that God gave us this sweet little baby girl. She is just blessing us every single day. I just want to share with you how I am doing now that I am a year postpartum. And I will start this whole subject by saying I don't think that there is any sort of reasonable benchmark for any woman to reach at six months postpartum, at a week postpartum, at a year postpartum. I think that every woman's individual journey is so different from the other. It's so unique and it's so dependent upon their own life and their own body and their own desires for what they want. And so going into talking about my personal fitness or the goals that I have, I'm in no way projecting them onto any of you because we are so unique, us individually. And I only want this to be an encouragement to you guys. I don't think that I am living up to perfect mom fitness or perfect mom postpartum glow or anything like that because the postpartum time has good, bad, and ugly. And I have seen all three of those elements in this last year. The biggest goal that I have reached is healing my diastasis recti. You can follow the link in the description box to an explanation of diastasis recti, like what it actually is. Uh, but for me, I had a pretty severe case. It wasn't about how my tummy looked, although it did look weird, um, it was more about how I felt and my core strength and my body strength. Your core is so important and mine was not where it needed to be. And so I worked on it. And um, last month I gave you guys the update that I had healed my diastasis recti thanks to some Moms Into Fitness workouts. I will link them below. They're awesome. Lindsay Brin and Moms Into Fitness really, really helped me with that. And I, since then, have been able to achieve some other postpartum fitness stuff, but I only work out because I enjoy it and because I enjoy feeling strong and healthy. I think it's a really good choice for my body. And the adrenaline and the endorphins that happen as a result of working out are awesome for my mood and for um, my postpartum hormones and for just feeling overall really good about myself and my life. Actually, the fitness aspect of things really, I believe, ties into the postpartum depression aspect of things. I had some postpartum depression and I think I did when I was postpartum with my boys, although at the time with my boys, I didn't really know what was going on. I just felt like I was going crazy. <laughs> um, but this time around, I recognized the symptoms early on and I sought some help. And as the months went on and as I implemented more physical activity, I really saw my mood start to improve. But actually, it wasn't until my cycle came back that I truly felt like I was starting to get grounded again as far as my hormones and emotions. I know a lot of women dread getting their period back postpartum, um, but for me, I knew because of my experience with my last postpartum period, I knew that with the return of my cycle, I would start to feel more like myself. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you may remember when I was five months postpartum with Haley on the day, I got my period back and I felt like just a cloud, like a hormonal cloud of emotions and just a fog was totally lifted and I could see clearly and um, getting back into a workout routine and becoming more active really helped with that. Of course, if you feel like you are experiencing postpartum depression, absolutely talk to your doctor about it. Absolutely talk to a professional because a lot of times it can be worse 
than we recognize. Um, and I'm so glad that I had people that I trusted to be able to talk to and that I was able to talk to my uh, OB about it. And I'm glad, I'm very, very thankful that I was able to find some relief for the blues and the mood swings and just the overall um, depression that I felt. As you can see from these before and after shots, there is a little bit of change from when I was newly postpartum with Haley till one year postpartum with Haley. Um, but I think the biggest change is under the skin, under the surface, the core strength that I gained back by um, doing specific workouts to heal my diastasis recti, which has improved so much all over my body. Um, I still have very wrinkly and saggy skin on my midsection um, that it has stayed there since after giving birth to my twins and I don't expect that to go back to what it was. I think I have pretty realistic expectations for the loose skin on my tummy. I think that it's going to remain that way for the rest of my life and I think that I will look at it and always see what my body did and see the three miracles that my body produced and my body was a house for three different babies two at one time that's crazy that's just amazing and i'm thankful to god for that but there are times when i do feel insecure about it and there are times when i don't like what i see just like anyone else and so it's something that i struggle with at times, but mostly I am just thankful for what my body did to bring these babies into the world. And I continue to work on my physical fitness with the goal of being stronger and healthier. I want to be able to keep up with my kids as they grow. I want to be able to run around with them and um, be active with them. I have three very active, high energy children and I want to be able to not be, you know, panting as I run around the front yard with them. That's my goal. And I also want to be confident in my body and learning to be confident with the stretch marks and the wrinkles um, is a journey that I'm still going through, something that I may still deal with even into my middle age and when I'm old. And that's just the burden that I bear and I'm happy to do so because I'm so thankful so thankful to have these babies. Alrighty, I think that is everything. This was probably an exceptionally long baby update. That's how these go, and I had a lot to update you on, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And moving forward, I have had questions about how I'm gonna continue to do baby updates, if I'm going to do them, if it's just gonna be a once a year thing now that she's a year old. And I think there's a lot of development and growth and updates that can happen between now and her second birthday. And so I want to continue doing these baby updates every three months. And so you can catch the next baby update for Haley when she turns 15 months old and then 18, 21, and then 24 months, two years old. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to say that. Oh my gosh. Before I say goodbye, I do want to thank you all so much for your love and support over this last year. Um, we've had a wonderful year with Haley, but I've also had a wonderful year with you guys. And I really appreciate and I value each and every one of you who stopped by and watched my videos. And I just want to thank you so much for all the love. I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you're at. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. Oh, yes, I love you. Oh, is your nose itchy? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, they're so yummy.